For Alex Rodriguez, the waiting game continues. Reports are circulating that Major League Baseball might try to ban the Yankees star for life because of his alleged connection to biogenesis, the Florida clinic linked to distributing performance-enhancing drugs. AP baseball writer Ron Blum says that both sides are trying to work out a settlement. If there isn't a settlement, then baseball has a decision. Do they announce this dramatic lifetime ban, knowing a couple of months from now it's going to be shortened to a year, year and a half, two years by an arbitrator, who they announce a more reasonable penalty, like a year and a half, two years, that an arbitrator might sustain. The normal first-time suspension for use of performance-enhancing drugs is 50 games. But Rodriguez's suspension is expected to be longer because of his supposed role in recruiting other athletes and attempting to obstruct MLB's investigation. For the 13 other players connected to Biogenesis, suspensions are expected by next week. Sometime next week, teams will get to the point where they have 50 games and then fewer than 50 games left. So between now and then, for players in the pennant race, like Texas's Nelson Cruz or Detroit shop, shortstop uh, Peralta, they can be suspended and still return for the playoffs. If MLB can reach agreements with the players involved, fans won't have to wait long for the suspensions to start. Under baseball's joint drug agreement, the suspensions are effective on the third business day after the notices are issued. David Martin, Associated Press.